Dribble drive going in. Spawman is going to have a block right back at him by Colin Kane. Recovered by Morris. Grabbed by Carlson. Goes in and gets absolutely hammered. Absolutely hammered. Now there's a little pushing and shoving with Kane and Spawman. That will bring the coaches off. They just threw Spawman out of the game. Spawman just got ejected. And that was a really, really hard foul. Now they're now another technical on, on the Chartrand. assistant coach. No, uh, this the assistant coach is getting technical Boy, fouls. Monroe, the whole Monroe team is losing their cool. It, that was a very, very hard, unnecessarily hard foul down here. I don't know if they called a flagrant on it or not, but this is going to be a lot of free throws, and Monroe's kind of throwing this ball game away at this point. And so we do know that the. There was a foul going in on Carlson. He got absolutely just way late. That was a hockey hit. That wasn't a basketball foul. And Chartrand was jawing. Spawman squared up with Kane, and it gave him a shove. And so that forced his ejection. The officials are still meeting in the center of the floor. And I think Kane was trying to protect. Carlson was on the floor, and it looked yeah. like one of the Monroe players was going to go over and kind of stand over him like he was trying to prove a point. Uh, Kane just kind of moved in between him, didn't say anything, and then Spawman pushed him, and he got technical and booted him out of the game. So I think there's two technicals. I think we're looking at least four free throws. Well, six, you know, because With of the, the foul on the lay-in, and then Snohomish should get the basketball. So if Snohomish can hit some free throws, they can pretty much salt this thing away and with Spa with Renshaw fouled out and with Spawman kicked out of the ball game um, wow Monroe's just got to yeah. regroup get their cool back um, you know for going into playing in that first district game on Thursday night uh, against Mariner so Pat Castro is trying to pick up the uh, information from the official and we're getting information here. They're going to bring both coaches to the center of the floor and explain to them. So, and we'll, we'll Pat will give us the information here in just a moment as the official is over the bench in front of us, and the official scorers you know, are writing down frantically what you know, they're saying. Yeah, this is this has been a very physical ball game and some really good defense being played, um, but it's unfortunate that it's deteriorated to this point and and now the officials are you know and so we're going to he hear what went on here as Chartrand got a technical I thought it was Chartrand yep, that was barking back at him yep, you were right yeah Spawman got a technical foul and an ejection it, what? Kane Kane from Snohomish gets a technical as well and their assistant coach got a technical. So three technicals on Monroe. Three one to on, one other one technical on fouls. Yeah. Chartrand, yeah, he was. Spawman. Spawman got. E Spawman was ejected. Right, and it was interesting because Chartrand was the one that was trying to calm everybody down earlier. And so. There was a technical foul on number three, Jack Newhouse. That was his fifth foul. Newhouse, a technical. Chartrand with a technical, his fourth personal. Okay. Spawman, technical, an intentional foul, and an ejection. And another technical of the Monroe bench. And Colin Kane. So each time we talk about a bill, somebody else gets a technical foul. Oh, yeah. We're going to be shooting free throws from now until dinner tomorrow again, afternoon. Again, it's, it's really unfortunate.